Judge says Shantari Weems took the law into her own hands. But she says she snapped. This story she... is enough to get everybody's blood boiling. We're allowing criminals to be let out of jail. Here we have a woman who technically should be celebrated, should name a day after her. Shantari Weems has been sentenced to four years in jail by the judge when the prosecutors was only offering her two years. I'd have gave her two years of celebration. She would be in jail if it was left up to me because the judge seems to think that child molestation is acceptable. She owns a daycare in Baltimore and she found out that her husband was molesting some of the children. He's charged with like 33 counts of rape, child abuse, and she said, I got so mad because I trusted my husband. She said, we always discuss protecting the children in this nasty, evil piece of trash was molesting the children that she was taking care of. While they looked into the allegations of child sexual abuse. The only person I had to find out information from was my husband. And he kept saying, he didn't do it. And you believed him? I did believe him. But then, she says, the mother of one of the children, a child she'd loved and cared for for years, said they had to talk. So I saw the pain in her face, and I knew that she was not lying. She finally said it was my husband. You think about that child all the time? All the time. I think about all the children all the time. She said I was devastated. Matter of fact, she said that she was planning on killing him and then killing herself, but she didn't do it. God bless you, didn't do it. Oh, God is able to help you out of this particular situation. We should actually be trying to get her out of jail. Ain't no reason she should be in jail. Judge O'Keefe, he's probably a pervert too, suggested that what she did was deliberate cruelty. Did you not get the part that he was molesting the children? What has happened to a society when the judges and these prosecutors are so... You felt this complete betrayal of trust? I was totally broken. I, I felt like the, the blood had just drained out of my body because, again, this is my husband. Prosecutors have charged her husband, James Weems, with 33 counts of rape and child sex crimes. He's awaiting trial, and his lawyer is declining to comment. Don't let or soft on child molesters, but somebody do something to the child molesters, they get a hard sentence. Prosecutors in a plea bargain was only offered her two years. The judge upped it to four years. What a sick judge. If I'm the judge, I don't care who likes this. If I'm the judge, she's not getting no time. Give her probation. Technically, I would give her a award. Shot him in the neck. He's in the hospital. Uh, he's going to be charged with these crimes. So I want to do the judge think what he did to the children was deliberate cruelty. So she set out to cause a devastating and life-altering injury. And your point is? And did you get the part that he was molesting all these children? I can understand. No, I can't understand. But I know I would be devastated. Think about this. Her husband, who's supposed to be helping her in a bit. Now she didn't lost her business and she's in prison because her husband was a disgusting pervert. Now think about somebody you love and trust. She said, first I believe my husband, but then a parent who I trusted who, who, whose child was molested. She said, I seen this child, took your first step, how to ride a bike, everything. This nasty piece of trip. He look a little suspect to me. I'm going to be honest with you. He look a little suspect. Got that look about it. Switch here to look about it. But why is Shantari still in prison? She should be let out of prison immediately. I'm sure we got some fancy lawyers out there can fight this particular case. How is it possible that we allow criminals to get out of jail repeatedly? Murderers, rapists, and everything else. But she's getting four years 
for killing a piece of trash that was molesting kids. I don't see a crime, really. I see Hero wrote all over this. She should have a medal of honor as far as I'm concerned. Why is she in jail? Investigate the judge. How is it possible that he wants to be tough on her? Think it's cruel what she did to this child molester. I bet you any kind of money that he's a child molester. She got slapped with a four-year sentence, twice of what the prosecutors was recommending in a plea deal, charges of aggravated assault, carrying a pistol without a license, and your point is, girl needs protection. She needed protection from this freak she was living with, her husband. That's got to be devastating. Not only is your, you find that your husband is a pervert, child molester, you also find out that now your business is ruined and you're going to jail for taking out the trash. He didn't even die. Unfortunately, he didn't die. Well, maybe it was good for her because they probably tried. The judge probably gave her a death penalty for that, taking out a child molester. If any prisoners that's in prison and they take out a child molester while they're in prison, I think they should have their sentence reduced unless they're a child molester. <laughs> But here we have the judge being tough on her. I wonder what that judge give. I wonder what the judge would give her husband. Because now he's going to have to stay in trial for these accusations. Everybody's saying we should uh, protest and try to get her. You damn right we should. Why is she still in jail? What I like to know. She's a hero as far as I'm concerned. What do you mean? She shot a child molester? And you're saying there's a problem with that? I don't see an issue here. She snapped. She wasn't able to control herself. The judge said she was delivered. She thought about, I don't care. Maybe it starts festering. Like, I can't believe he was lying when I was asking these questions. Now she's serving four years. Complete outrage. You should be outraged. 